Sports brings you a special edition of the National Football League for this Halloween matchup. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's coming up next. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finished as a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run here with Rico Dowdle. Pushes past him, escapes the defender. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, there you go, this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Looking to throw, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. Play action now, Prescott. That's into the hands of Tolbert. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target lamb. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Zach Bond there on the tackle. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They run again with Dowdle. Looking to find a lane, but he can't reined in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Prescott now. Out right, he finds Tolbert. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. 
That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. they got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Give him three on the gain there, second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Second and goal from inside the five. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Now this will be play number 10 on this pretty long opening drive. Here's third and goal. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. Dowdle, no signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. They'll try again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Rico Dowdle punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most intercepts in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. It's caught, Smith, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, 
the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it facing a second and long situation. Throwing his hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. And now a pause because we've got A.J. Brown dinged up on that last play, and they're going to have to get some medical attention to him. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Kevante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Well, just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for, a really good change of pace back. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. To throw is Prescott. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. 
Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. A running play, it's Dowdle. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Second and nine. They run here with Dowdle. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Prescott. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. The offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Following the delay, here's second and nine. Hurt sets up to throw it. Throw right side complete to Dodson. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Hurts to throw. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. Here's Braden Mann now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10.
So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Second and 12. Prescott to throw it. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Ah, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll try and start this drive in the air. This is Smith with a grab. Down the left sideline. He may go. Devontae Smith. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith taking it in. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they design every play to score. I don't know how true that is. But he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. I think that when he was telling you that, he was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there. And that's what we got on that one. Nice catch, an even better run for big yardage. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now? is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Prescott from the gun. And that is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and 10. Throwing. Prescott finding Tolbert here over the middle. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Down the left sideline. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 58 yards. Oh, man. Disappointment that he couldn't finish that off in the end zone. What an effort there. Doing all he can to get to the pylon. And he's going to wind up out of bounds just short. But a huge play there. Going to set him up with first and goal from very short range. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Jalen Tobert from a yard out. And the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Aubrey now for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense and receiver Devontae Smith set for this next possession. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in this first half, it has resulted in a big play as borne out by the numbers. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And within trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and six now. From the gun, it's Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's third and a few inches. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. 
He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. They'll drop to throw. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Chauncey Golston just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side could play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. And Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game throw the ball they had success doing it in the first half so make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps but above all play your game second half begins with a run from Barkley this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense you can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game case in point right there third and three they'll look to throw here and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Quick slant here to Smith. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch, not much yardage afterwards. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and five. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 45-yard line. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and six. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. I see a shake of the head as he gets up. And you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's second and three. Throwing his hurts. Blitz coming, and down he goes. DeMarvian overshone. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Back to throw here. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Cowboys offense now they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start with the option. 
And they can't bring him down. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of <laughs> relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. A first down carry by Allian. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Prescott off play action. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jake Ferguson, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will add to their fourth quarter lead. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes it a 21-10 game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The visitors offense and their big play wide out getting ready to get back to work. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early and it has paid giant rewards to this stage of the game. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Two yards the loss, second and 12. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Hurts. His throw incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The Eagles on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third down and 12. Looking to throw. He's got his man. That's the rookie from Florida State. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. But they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. Shreds the tackle. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. 
That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Hertz will throw. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. In motion, that's Tolbert. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Powerful running. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give them 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Here we go. Third and one. Gut check time on both sides. And here's a handoff out of the gun. 
And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. He hasn't really had a game to remember, but that conversion right there is something to hang his hat on late. It certainly is. In these situations, what you're really looking for is the guy who's not worried about his stats, not worried they didn't get 100 yards in a game, but will make that dirty, gritty run that you have to have to close the game out, as we just saw there. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Inside give to Elliott. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And his kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction. All of a sudden, they're down. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play.
Here's second down. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sand. And that'll bring up third. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.